So in my first day, I remember walking into the classroom and there were students from public health, SLP, pharmacy, social work. And as a nursing student, that was my first time being, you know, ex experiencing a classroom that was so interdisciplinary. And I've really carried that through in my research because it was really valuable for me to hear other people's perspectives, especially when it's um, in relation to aging. I enrolled in the collaborative specialization during my PhD um, because I had a passion for geriatrics and gerontology and there was a real lack of courses that taught the material focused on aging and geriatrics. So my research interests lie in the area of aging and questions of gender and care and disability. So I chose to do the collaborative specialization really to nurture those interests and to also find a home um, for this, my specific interest in aging, which um, at the time that I began the program, I wasn't finding in my home department. I'm very interested in the ways in which adverse exposures in early life affect long-term health. And this interest really began to take shape and was cultivated during my coursework for the collaborative specialization. Content in the courses really helped me broaden my thinking about the structural factors that influence the experience of getting older in our society. And that's really helped me um, recalibrate and reframe a lot of my research questions. Um, those formative experiences, having opportunities to work closely with faculty and to work on research projects with faculty, ultimately changed the whole trajectory of my career and now form the basis of my doctoral research. So what I've learned at the Institute in particular is how to translate um, the theories and the concepts that I learned in anthropology towards this kind of audience and this kind of work. Throughout my program of research, I continue to use the main principles from my aging courses from the Institute. Um, I also include a lot of stigma. My research is focused on technology and older adults. And so a lot of that is um, been informed by a lot of the theories that I learned from the uh, collaborative program. The Institute for Life Course in Aging offers a range of resources and learning opportunities beyond the core requirements of the collaborative specialization. As a graduate student, you gain a lot from this program, not just um, from an educational perspective, but also leaving with really strong relationships and with a team of people who just want to see you succeed. So I would say get involved in um, the collaborative specialization program is just full of different opportunities.